What's up, everybody? This is Jason Roselle, and you're watching a special episode of Being Fat Sucks. Why? Because I'm bringing you my family. It's at my home, mi casa, my mother and grandmother. Yeah, yeah. In today's episode, we're going to talk about family values and how having a support system can make or break your weight loss journey. You know, growing up was not easy. I'm sure it wasn't easy for anybody ever since I was five years old, from kindergarten to middle school all the way up through high school and even college, I was just very overweight. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be in this physical shape. It's been nothing but struggle. Because for those who say it's easy, believe me, it is not easy. It's hard work. You get what you pay for. At about 20 years old is when I hit like rock bottom, 220 pounds. My waist was size 40, just looking at my fat stomach. Three o'clock in the morning, eating Oreo cookies. My parents recently separated. I was going through a lot of emotional stress. And essentially, I would just sit there and just eat myself to sleep. And it was always excuses, excuses. And it was finally that, that rock bottom point, 20 years old, looking at TV, just, I remember an Oreo cookie just falling on top of my stomach and I was like, okay, I gotta do something about this. This is ridiculous. After asking questions and, you know, going to different fitness centers and not getting results, I figured, I don't know what to do. Do I just give up on life or do I do something? And ultimately, I would, I, I, I started trial and tribulation. I started exercising on my own. Uh, I started changing my eating patterns, eating habits, and it was, years of trying different things and finding that special potion that worked for me. And it kept on getting to a point where I was like, I lost four inches this month. It's been six months, I've lost 24 pounds. It's not about saying I'm a perfect human being because no one is. It's been a struggle and I'm glad that I overcame it. Growing up in Queens, New York, um, wasn't the best in neighborhood, so to speak. My mom, she worked a lot with my father. They ran car businesses, and I didn't get to really spend a lot of time with them. But anything I wanted, uh, rest assured, my mom, my grandmother always gave me whatever I wanted. But one of those things was food. It got to a point where food was like my best friend. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up, you know? Video games, school, eating. I had my own issues working, doing a lot of, uh, traveling with the cars, etc. I had a million excuses and everything that we ate was bad and pastries. I just remember her being so busy, but it's so easy to say yes versus no. She just gave me whatever I wanted and most of that was food. It was. And that's how I was getting fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. When it got out of control, I would look at him and I would go, oh my God, what have I done? But guess what? I was heavy too. I was going to the food. Everything was food, 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 food. When I think back, I would have done so many things differently. I felt that my only way out was to eat. I'm sorry, but it isn't. And it finally clicked. I'm an addict. I love to eat. That is my problem. I was lazy. I was full of it. I thousand excuses. What started happening, all of a sudden I started feeling pain, like my skin was stretching out. And it was. And you can feel that skin just trying to stretch out to let more food go in. And I never told that to Jason. It scared the heck out of me. So you can imagine how it was for him When um, he was a little boy, and I feel guilty today. And and it is true. It's so easy saying yes. Here, kid, take that, or put on the TV. That's the biggest mistake you could ever do for your kids. You know, just yeah, let's yeah, let them watch TV. Yeah. What do you want, PlayStation? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, your kids are there, they're not doing anything. They're just, they're just sitting there. And he was giving me all the signs because even though he was chubby, he was jumping off the tables. He would 
do plays. He would go and get all the kids and do all the shows. Hey, mom, 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 we're doing a show, we're doing a show. And I never even saw that either. I never asked him what he wanted to do when you grow up or anything like that because I was too busy with my own little problems. And as far as parents, I mean, you've got to start doing what you need to do today. I will look for different excuses to tell my son why he was fat. And, and that's pretty sad. I'm glad that my son went out there and he did something for himself. You're not going to believe this, but he's doing it for me now. Almost eight, nine years asking her, Mom, lose the weight, lose the weight. And it wasn't until a few months ago when she calls me, I'm sick of it. Send me the damn diet. This is my routine. Please change it. I don't think anybody wants to be fat. But again, you know, it is an addiction. She had it for so many years, so finally when it clicked, I mean, you look at her pictures. I mean, no offense, Mom. You just were so overweight. You look depressed. I mean, she looks like she's like taking 20 years off of her life. She looks so much younger. Yep. She's vibrant. I never get fat in my life. Yeah, see, coming from a Puerto Rican grandma that cooked nothing but rice, rice and, and beans, beans, empanadas, and the pork with lots of, you know, and guess who, <laughs> guess who reaped all the benefits? <laughs> Me and Mama. <laughs> Thank you, Yaya. Thank you, Yaya. <laughs> yeah. When you're in the kitchen, that's where you have to get creative and you bring your kids and then you do, you have kid time. Why not take five minutes of your day just to yeah. cut up some vegetables, different lean meats, chicken, uh, even some good pasta, wheat pasta, and they could just not even know that they're eating healthy. Just like I went through it, millions of kids out there going through it. It's an epidemic and it needs to be stopped. If my mom would have known better, for 20 some odd years, I wouldn't have to deal with just I mean, life. just just ask yourself, you're in front of your kids and they're obese right now, and you ask them the question, would you like to be fat or would you like to be skinny? Case closed. I think like what's super awesome about this whole process is like, I've never been closer to my mother, my grandmother. Look at her, I love you. <laughs> it's funny how in life things can change. She changed her life. She's been, you know, losing weight left and right. Yeah. She looks younger. We do activities together. We go dancing. Make the best out of it, guys. I don't care if you only have one or two close people in your life, whether it's your friend, your wife, your husband. Everybody, if you reach out, has a support system. We'll take Martin and Kate. They started off not knowing what to eat, how to eat, and look at their success so far. You know, they're doing awesome. And when you have a support system, and trust me, there's people out there that want it just as bad as you do, it makes things more fun. Don't give it a reason, oh, we're so busy, we don't have time for a family dinner or go to your friend's house. Make it an activity, cook, put some music on, pick a healthy dish, watch one of the episodes of Being Fat Sucks, bring your friends, bring your family, get together. It's all about what you make out of it in life. At the end of the day, it's, it's work, and if you work hard, you can have anything you want. From Being Fat Sucks, this is Jason Roselle. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. Don't take life for granted. If you're just starting your new life and losing weight, it's never too late to lose a weight, baby. That's right, one time. Two times. Boom, boom, and a bam. bam. Boom, boom, bam. Right, yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. Much love, this is Jason LaRoselle. This is my mom, Maria Roselle, and yeah, yeah. And thank you for watching because this only gets better. Mwah. See ya.